Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video, we are working here on Mercedes uh, C-Class. This is the W204 from 2008 to 2015 model. And today, we'll show you how to remove and replace wheel bearing, the hub, the whole hub with the wheel bearing. Uh, ours was in an accident. As you know, check out the description below. You'll find the video uh, where we got uh, where we got the car from, what car auction, and for a very good price. Unfortunately, it was hit on this side, so we will need to replace the hub because there is a little bit of difference, okay, in the camber. And we replaced everything else. The only thing left is the is the hub. Okay, so you can see right now. Okay, we have about two and a half. Two and a half negative camber on this side. Let's check out what we have on the other side now. Okay, this is the side that's not hit. Everything's good on this side. Everything is like it should be. And on this side, okay, we have. I probably need to go get the light between half and 0.75 angle. So you can see we have quite a bit of difference, about two degrees difference on it on on the other side. So. We're going to show you, if you need to replace a hub, spindle or a bearing, okay, right here, we'll show you how to do that. It will take quite a bit of work, stay with us. Uh, the whole car will be taken apart, so we'll have more than 200 videos coming on this one. If you need anything, let us know, subscribe, most likely we'll have the video coming soon. Okay, don't forget to apply the emergency brake on. Next thing, we need to get our tire chocks, and since we'll be working on the left side, we will place them on the rear right. Okay, we'll be working on front left. Usually you do a diagonal thing. Uh, the more tire chokes you install, the better, to be honest with you. Be safe. Okay, so let's start with the next step now. So next, also the car has to be in park. We're going to take the lug bolts loose now. Okay, next we'll need to go get a jack and a jack stand. Always use a jack stand, not just a jack itself. So we're going to jack it up now, this is low profile fast pumping jack, we'll have all the tools that we use in the description of the video below, so if you need anything, just read below the video in the description and you'll be able to find the links. Ok, perfect, and why we install the tire chocks on the opposite side, because the rear tire almost came off the ground now as you can see, so we'll need to go with the jack stand right there. Okay, just go a little bit more. Perfect. Next, we'll take the tire off the wheel. Be careful not to drop on you on the last bolt because it's pretty heavy wheel. Okay, and last we're going to leave this thing under the car, and why we do that? If something happens, the jack falls, the jack stand doesn't hold good, we have the wheel to catch the car so it doesn't fall on us. Better damage the wheel than kill you. We already made a few videos about taking the, uh, replacing a strut, replacing control arm, so quite a few videos coming on this one. Next we need to get a T30. Okay, start looking a bit, the torque is sturdy, and we need to remove that bolt right there. Okay, if this one, sometimes they might be tight, or have rust, you have to tap on them with a hammer, and they'll come off. Okay, just like that. Next thing, we're going to turn the steering wheel to the left, because we'll have to, uh, we'll have to actually remove the brake caliper. So now... What we're going to do, we're going to compress okay, the caliper a little bit, the piston in the caliper. So when we pull it out, okay, to replace the hub because we have to remove the uh, uh, we have to remove the roller as well. We will be able to install it later on the same roller. If you install new roller after that, you have to compress the piston quite a bit. And we'll have a compressor too. Uh, we have the video on our channel, and we have a video how to do that as well, how to put new brake pads, okay, and new. Caliper. So here we're going to get between the brake pad and the roller and just pry a little bit until it gets loose like that. So right here now we're going to remove the bracket that holds the caliper with an 18mm socket and a big brake over bar. 
Okay, those are pretty tight. So, different models will have different torque specs because this one is the sport suspension, so it might be a little bit more. Okay, and there is one more on the bottom side right there. So we need to get them loose. And it's important to have a zip tie or a wire when you remove the caliper to tie to the strut so it's not hanging on the uh, on the brake line because this is rubber brake line. Heavy brake caliper can cause damage later. And you don't want to lose your brakes later. Okay, this is the board. It has thread locker on them. You can see that blue thing. Okay, let me get right here. This is thread locker, so you need to They have thread lockers, so they cannot get loose from vibrations and your caliper come off the wheel. Okay, so we're going to get our our wire here now. Okay, so we can remove it and tie it for the strut right here, for the spring. So that way it's not hanging on the on the brake line. Okay, perfect. Next you can remove the brake roller. Okay, right here. You can see this is the brake roller. That's how you remove it. So next for the spindle, we need to uh, remove that nut there for the lower control arm. So this one, uh, ours is with 21 millimeter nut but we actually replace that control arm we have the video on the channel so yours might be a little bit different okay so we'll go ahead and remove that nut all the way so the nut is loose perfect This one is a little bit stuck there, the control arm. So the only way is to hammer them and pry with a bar a little bit, but never ever damage your seal there. We'll show you in a second. Okay, so you can see it's loose. You just have to be careful not to damage the thread on the bolt. So what we have to do, we'll need to pull it a little bit this way and remove it out of there. Okay, you just have to be gentle here, not to bend anything, you just never ever apply too much pressure. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, perfect. Now it's very important not to damage that seal because if you damage your bow joint, it will go bad and you have to replace it. So now the upper control arm, the nut is on the bottom. The same with 21. Okay, we have to remove the whole nut. You can see how the suspension consists of two control arms. If yours is a all-wheel drive, it will be different procedure. Okay, perfect. This one is coming out. Next, we'll need to turn the steering wheel. Okay, we just locked the car. Uh, we will need to turn it to the left so we can get to uh, to the tie rod. Okay, so let me get the key quick. Okay, all the way to the left. Next, the tie rod is right here. So this one is with the 21 again. Okay, we need to get it loose. Ours was pretty tight there, the socket. We're actually using 13 16s, which is almost equivalent to 21, a little bit smaller. That's why it got a little bit tight there. Okay, perfect. Next, install the nut again with the socket and barely... Okay, tap on it. Now 
And if it's really stuck, that would be for the penetrating spray works really good. You just apply a little bit right here and let it sit for about 10 minutes and you try again. Okay, right there. Okay, it just got loose. Once you soak them, they go really easy. Okay, and you can pull it out like that. Never ever hit on the bolt itself. Always uh, screw the the uh, the nut all the way on the bolt or the whole nut linked. That way you're not going to damage the thread. Okay, and uh, next thing. Okay, we have uh, we have the nut right there. Okay, like that. So now we have to remove the strut. So again with the same 21 millimeter socket, we have one board right there that we'll need to remove and two on the back side. Okay, uh, this one, okay, you can see this is a reverse, it's called a reverse Torx E18. This one will be for, uh, for the back side. Okay, it goes on this side right here. We're going to hold it with the breakover bar. Usually the E18s and up, they're with half inch ratchet or breaker bar. Okay, we got it loose. Came out. Now we need to pull the bolt out and and we're actually gonna leave this one in until we remove the ones on the back so it can hold the spindle in place and it doesn't uh, doesn't move everywhere so uh, those are with uh, okay let me see what this one is quick it's a reverse Torx 14 uh, the same thing okay it's the 14 so let's go ahead and remove those now there is two one on this side one on the other one and after that we will need to get a 10 millimeter for the ABS sensor when we get everything loose. Okay, and those, we got them pretty loose, uh, pretty tight last time. Almost coming out now. Okay, that's what the boat looks like. Now we can turn it to the other side by hand, okay, like that. And we're going to get a 10 millimeter for the ABS sensor, so we have it on hand. This is the other bolt that we need to remove. Okay, this one is out as well. So now we need to push in a little bit that way. Okay, you can remove that bolt here. Okay, perfect. I'm going to get the 10 millimeter now. Okay, because we need to move it out of the way so we can get the lower, con uh, the upper control arm out of the way there. Okay, now let's go ahead and remove the ABS sensor first so we don't damage it. Okay, you can see you just pull the cable out of there. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to get a 10 millimeter and remove the bolt that holds the sensor to the spindle. Okay, now we need to pull the sensor out. It's good to always clean those before you install them because all that. All that uh, brake dust and stuff like that can trigger an ABS slide in the future. Okay, and this is the spindle guys out here. So this is how you remove a spindle. You put it, everything back together in reverse or took apart. Uh, you gotta make sure that that metal plate is straight so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't touch the roller because you will make a noise when you're moving. Uh, let us show you where ours was damaged from the, from the impact. Okay, you can see right here, okay, that here is stretched right here a little bit, this way. So that caused a little bit of problem there, and we'll replace it with this one. So uh, thank you guys for watching, please subscribe, many more videos to come, and see you next time.